So up to this point, we've looked at how we can sketch a quadratic from factorized form and from completed square form, and also using the quadratic formula. In this video, I want to go through how we can just use our calculator to sketch a quadratic as well. So sketching it from scratch like this. Now, in this, I'm going to be using a non-graphical calculator. So this is the Casio ClassWiz, the FX991EX. Um, and what I need my calculator to be able to do is to solve a quadratic. So if it can solve a quadratic equation, then uh, that's all good. This one can also tell me the minimum or maximum point, depending on the shape of the curve as well, uh, which is quite useful. So I'm going to take it as if I'm working from this calculator. Um, and I'll explain what the calculator can tell me and then how I can interpret that to make the sketch. OK, so I'm going to go straight into the menu and I'm going to scroll down until I get to equation function. So A and then polynomial number two and degree two. So I'm going to type in 2x squared minus 9x plus 7. And the first thing that the calculator tells me is x1 equals 7 halves. I'll press equals again and I get x2 is equal to 1. I'm going to press equals again and it tells me now the minimum uh, of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So the x value is 9 quarters and equals again minus 25 eighths. So this is a minimum point. This is the coordinate, or these are the coordinates rather, of the vertex. So, plenty of information there. So let's draw our axes. This is where the graph will be crossing the x-axis. So at one and seven halves. It is a positive x squared, so happy face parabola, and so it's going to be going something like this. So let's draw that on. Here's 1. Here's the 7 halves. Here is the minimum point, so 9 quarters minus 25 eighths. And the last point of interest is where it crosses the y-axis, which will be when x is 0. And when x is 0, we get y equals 7. And so that is the last piece of the puzzle.